Hello. Hello, do you guys have reservations? Yes. Awesome. Today is Sunday, September 27th, 2020, and we're on our way through Yosemite National Park on our way to the Eastern Sierras. We're gonna take Tioga Pass Road over to Bridgeport. I've never seen Yosemite Valley this empty before. Yeah, we took that to go river empty. I've never been this way. Me either. This is the first, sweetie. Really, from both of us. fire all along here. On both sides of the road it's been burned. Been burned or is burning? Smoldering. Yeah. Okay, I can smell it. Holy crap. That's burning. Yeah. Definitely burning, but there's some smoldering going on down there. What are you doing? Testing out the water. It's cold. How cold is it? Definitely will wake you up in the morning. What possessed you to do that? The purpose of taking Tioga Pass Road was to see Tuolumne Meadows. However, we got there too late in the day and the lighting wasn't very good. We're going to have to come home this way. We got up early the next morning to start our search for fall colors. All of the forests in this area are closed to prevent the accidental ignition of another wildland fire since firefighting resources are spread thin. I found a small section of Nevada's Humboldt Toyabe Forest that extends into California, which might have fall colors. But first, we had to stop at our favorite bakery in Bishop to pick up sandwiches for lunch.
I'll have the turkey club. Cold and no sprouts. Oh, uh, half. Um, and then I'll do the roast turkey, dark meat, and a whole. A whole, yeah. Uh, no, no sprouts. Yeah, I think that's what she wanted. Strudel? She said cherry something, so that's what I'm getting here. Just one? Yeah, or do you want apple? Let's get an apple too. Turn left on Rock Creek Road. Rock Creek Canyon in Inyo National Forest is a hot spot for fall colors. I wanted to stop and see if it was open, and as you can see, it wasn't. And here we are at the fall colors. It's green. We found them. Yay. We gotta do better though. Turn left onto the unpaved road. In three and three quarter miles, head to Dunderberg Mines on the left.
work ahead. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Right. You thought you were going on another adventure, huh? In three and a half miles, arrive at Cavanaugh End. Today is Monday, September 28th, 2020. It's about five o'clock in the evening. We're in the Eastern Sierras looking for fall colors. I didn't do an introduction this morning because I was in a hurry to get on the road. We were somewhat limited on where we could actually go. Most of the forests in Southern California are closed because of the wildfires. We found this forest, I believe it's pronounced Toyabi. It's mostly in Nevada, but there's a small sliver that's in California. It's still early in the fall season, so the leaves are only changing color at the higher elevations. That means a lot of dirt roads. So we may need to come back in October to see the leaves change at the lower elevations. That's actually a good idea. June Lake, Convict Lake, Lundy Canyon. Rock Creek Canyon. It's planned. Today is Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. We just left the ghost town of Bodie. We're on our way home and we're gonna go back through Tioga Pass. So you know that road's closed. You can go about 15 more, 20 more miles and that road is closed until further notice. Fire jumped the road. So okay. the fire command needs the road totally shut so they okay. can do their thing. So we can get to the meadow? Yeah, yeah, you need to the meadow. Okay, we'll just- So what's the date on this? We can't see anything. The third. Okay, cool. So we'll just go to the meadow and then turn around? Yeah. Because the chances of it opening aren't slim to none, right? I don't know. I mean, I, I would not sit there and wait. Right. <laughs> I give him a, you know, because I, I heard the flames are 10 feet tall on the other side where it just jumped. I see you're driving the Jeep again. It makes shooting the content a lot quicker. This is true.
Rising before you are two of the highest peaks in Yosemite, Mount Dana and Mount Gibbs. The reddish-brown color hints at a different origin than the white granites of the other mountains in the park. The metamorphic rocks forming the summit areas of Mounts Dana and Gibbs are the exposed core of an ancient volcanic mountain range that once graced the Pacific coast. Once miles beneath tall volcanoes, they were slowly revealed as erosion stripped away the overlying rocks. So our intent after leaving Bodie was to drive over Tioga Pass into Yosemite. I wanted to shoot some fall colors actually in Yosemite Valley itself, but apparently there's a fire. I think it's the Jaybird fire, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, apparently further up Tioga Pass, it jumped the road, so the fire crews have it blocked off.